Hey guys, and welcome back to yet another video. As promised, I told you guys I would be filming every single one of my weekly setups this month because I'm doing different sea creatures for each one. And I decided to go with jellyfish. Um, if you've been following my Instagram leading up to this, you've seen tons of jellyfish posts because I've just been loving drawing them lately. They're super fun and they're actually like surprisingly easy to draw. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just, you know, show you guys my little weekly setup here. It's super easy and simple and I hope you guys enjoy. So I decided to switch things up this week by putting the actual weekly part of it in the very center going across both pages. Um, I believe it's eight dots across. I don't know how many tall. Um, and then I just filled in the headers with one of my Crayola Super Tips and I am using those, um, they were like scribbles something, um, like felt tip pens for um, drawing the boxes and then I'm like using them for the waves and also the jellyfish. I thought the waves looked kind of cool going across the bottom of the little weekly thing there. Um, and then I'm just going ahead and filling out the days of the week. I also went ahead and added a little monthly calendar at the top. I really like adding this just because it really shows you like exactly where you are in the month and this way if you need to reference like the days of the week um, really quickly it's super fast because it's right there where you need it. Um, and now I'm just going ahead and making a little goals and to do section. Um, keeping everything super simple. I. I wanted to cut out as much of like the boxes and stuff because sometimes I do a lot of boxy spreads and it takes a lot more time and I wanted this spread to be actually like a pretty quick one, which it was because I filmed this in like 30 minutes before going to work. Um, so yeah, I just made a little goals and to-do section um, and tried to like limit myself to like three major goals, four major things that I needed to do. Um, I really find that limiting yourself on your goals and your things that are like major to do's for each week really helps you to like focus your priorities. Um, and now I'm just adding my work and workouts tracker down below. I've been using this a lot in my weekly spreads and I love it. Just gives me a space to like put my work schedule and then to plan out my workout schedule for the week as well. And then I decided to um, add the waves again at the bottom. I'm just using like a dark blue and then a lighter blue color um, to go with it. I think it turned out super cute. And now I thought I would show you guys in depth how I draw my jellyfish. I'm using this like peachy colored um, pen. Again, it's that Scribbles. Actually, let me find out what the name of it is. I have them. They're right here next to me. That's a Sharpie pen, my B. Oh my gosh, I grabbed another Sharpie pen. Let's see. They are the Scribbles, oh, Scribble Stuff felt-tip pens. Sorry about that. Um, so basically I'm just taking this peach one and then I just make this little blob shape. You just kind of want to make sure it's like nice and rounded. Um, and then I'm basically kind of turning the pen on its side a little bit to make the lines as thick as possible at the base of the cone or the bell I mean, sorry, it's called the bell. Um, so I'm just turning it, try to make the lines thicker at the base of the bell to kind of give the illusion that there's a lot of stuff right there at the base because there is. Um, that's where you would see a higher concentration of all the, the tentacles coming into the um, actual body of the jellyfish versus the, the top of the bell would be a little less Full, I guess you would say um, and just kind of makes it look a little bit more 3d and then I just go and finish filling out the rest with a pen like regularly and then I just draw some squiggly lines as tentacles and then as you can see right now I'm going in 
and making these like thicker zigzaggy lines um if you look at a lot of pictures of jellyfish they have like small skinny little tentacles and then some of them have these like really big thick beautiful like like swirly tentacles um so i'm trying to create the illusion of that by making those thicker um zigzaggy kind of lines like that and so now I'm just going in and adding a ton more jellyfish onto this spread. I love drawing these jellyfish. Um, definitely follow my Instagram at Kayla Renee Journals to see more of these jellyfish. Um, I've been seriously just loving making them. So guys, that is it for this weekly spread. I'm just going to continue to add a bunch of jellyfish on here. They're super fun to draw. Um, I didn't take too much time to like make them perfect like I did on my actual jellyfish drawing that you see on my Instagram page. Just because it was a weekly spread, um, it wasn't too important to me that they were like perfect and the most gorgeous things ever. Um, otherwise, I probably would have tried to blend the like the darker color into the lighter color at the top um, a little bit better. But it's just a weekly spread, so it's no big deal. Um, I hope you guys like this, and I am definitely planning to do another one. And I think my next one might be sea turtle themed. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. And check out my Instagram page for more bullet journal pictures. And I will see you guys in my next video. Comment down below any video suggestions you guys have. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!